All right, welcome everybody to our November 25th So What Zoomcast. This is our uh, final broadcast of 2020, um, mostly because it's going to be hard to get guests and, and for everybody to get together uh, because of the holidays. So we figured this might be a good time for us to take a little break and, and regroup and find some new friends so that I can ask them to um, come on because actually he said I ran out of friends so um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make some new friends between that and then um, but in all seriousness um, I'm Linda Hahn and I'm coming to you from Palm Bay Florida thus I do not have any fuzzy stuff um, around me like you may see some of the girls and um, I have my normal Savino Blanc and is that a guess? Is that one of those unwanted guests? Do we? <laughs> ice water. So Siobhan, I have ice water and wine. So um, <sighs> I have myself a little half a ding dong. Uh, my co-host is coming from Matawan, New Jersey, and that would be Deborah Stanley. And Deb, do do I do I need to ask you, Deborah? Uh, no, because I'm not allowed to drink because of the oral surgery I had today. <laughs> that's the best time. Yeah, that's the way I could really use it. But okay, we I just I just saw somebody. Santa Claus. What? Did you see it, Stevie? No. There was, there was yeah, there was just some guy popped in. Does uh, anybody have a man with them? Yeah. Here. I saw somebody pass behind Deborah. Yes. Oh, no, not that man. That's, That's Steve. Yeah, he, he, yeah. Can, he can go. By. He's working from home. He's on his way outside. <laughs> anyway, Deb. Um, <laughs> just had to our our um broadcast today we don't have any one guest um this is our be thankful broadcast and because of covid um debbie and i had decided that we would do this um so what broadcast zoomcast and um give everybody an hour's time away from watching the news or, or worrying about COVID and wearing your masks or whatever, and try to do something nice for our quilting community. And with that, we asked some of our friends, they're still our friends, most of them, um, we asked them if they would like to come on and talk about themselves and tell us what they did so that you could get to know them as as people that they're a part of us and um and just get to know what they do because there's a, a lot of times you don't know you know other things and i know some of you have shared and you might share again today uh some things that you've done that you've gotten from our guests so uh if any of you would like to say anything just put your name in the chat and what Debbie's going to do is Debbie's going to keep watching and she's going to, um, she'll spotlight everybody in turn if you want to say anything. But we would like to say thank you to each and every one of our guests. Um, we seriously, seriously appreciate uh, your donating your time and your expertise to share it with, with our viewers and with us. And um, you, you are appreciated and you are loved. So, and to our viewers who've been on with us every week, um, we appreciate you too. We appreciate your support and, uh, and just coming every week. And we hope that we've made a, at least a little difference in your life um, and, and gave you a couple of laughs. Deb, you got anything to say? Well, just it, wonderful to see the people who co keep coming back week after week. And we uh, 
We appreciate it. So on that note, we have some guests who've been on with us before and we're gonna go through them because we see you. And uh, if you'd like to tell us what you've been doing since you were on. So let me gallery shot this. I'm seeing, I'll do a gallery in here. I got Patty on here. Patty Carey. Hey. Hello. You look like a little snow bunny. Hey there. Yes, so um, I'm from north of Toronto, Canada, and it snowed last night. And uh, so it's about 30 degrees outside and white. It looks beautiful, winter wonderland. So I've got my, my festive uh, sweater on and my Christmassy earrings. Um, so what are you see. drinking? You're celebrating with us. Yeah, I, I know. I have I know a you. Christmas beverage. It is Canadian whiskey and eggnog. Aha! What do you think, people? Siobhan, Siobhan gives you a double thumbs up. Everybody's giving you a thumbs up. Okay, that's a, that's a ding dong for you. <laughs> so what, what have you been doing? Have you done uh, anything new since we've seen you? Um, I've had a couple new patterns that I've uh, finished up and are now up and available on my website. And I've been doing some forward planning stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled that for the first time, I'm going to be teaching at Road to California. So, yeah, woo -hoo. so Road to California has gone virtual. And I think that's amazing because for a lot of us, it's a big distance to travel. It's expensive to get there, expensive to stay there. And we can save that money and spend it on classes and spend it on fabric. So um, I've got three half day classes and a lecture that I'll be doing at Road. So uh, you if you're interested, you can go and sign up. And um, the other fun thing that I'm going to be doing in the future, this one's a little bit farther out. Road is in January. Um, the following February 22, I am teaching on a Hawaiian quilting cruise through World of Quilts with Cheryl Lynch. Yes. And a couple other guests that Linda has had on, um, Krista Moser, right, um, be teaching on that as well. So um, I'm just thrilled to, to be on that and we'll be promoting that soon. Evie and I did that cruise last year. And I am going to be in charge of all the monkeys on that cruise in 22. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'll be watching you, Cheryl Lynch. <laughs> Bards against humanity. Bring the yes. box. It'll be okay. the perfect time to take a cruise. Yeah. Yes, All this will. crap will be gone. Yeah. This time last year, I was actually cruising around Hawaii. So, and, and I just upped it. So, I'm just thrilled to be able to do that again and have it as a quilting cruise. I've been on eight different quilting cruises before teaching and it's so much fun. I really enjoy it and the students really enjoy it. So um, I am just so looking forward to getting back to Hawaii and being a quilting cruise. Awesome. Thank you, Patty. We love you. Thanks. We love you. Who do I see next? I see you. Hey, Joyce, guess what I got? What do you have? I got a book. You do have my book. Oh, I have it. I have friends. Thing since I um, was on. I was on, I think, pretty early, and this was in the works of the imprinted. And it came out, I received it uh, last month. I've had it for about a month now. 
Um, it was supposed to be with Quilt Market, but that all got, you know, changed. But I'm still happy with it. So this is my book um, with thread painting off of the quilt that I designed in the back. So that's the book that I've been doing. Then the other thing is everyone, uh, which I did not really, I knew but didn't know, but didn't know, but didn't know type thing that I was known for working with panels. And when I first started quilting, I was did not work with panels. I did raw edge, um, but I kept getting asked with the book so where are the panels? Where are the panels? And I'm like, it's not panels, it's raw edge. So the light bulb went on and I finally figured I better get this quilt done as panels. So I had all of the blocks printed before thread painting. So now you just have to work them with panels. Uh, so six panels were printed for the, you know, as so you do not have to fussy cut all these little pieces out, which the directions are the book, or if you want to, you don't have to use the panels. So that was, that's pretty much my newest excitement that I've been celebrating. Do you get those panels individual or do they come as a group? What was that? You, um, I'm selling them for as to complete the quilt. So all six. The only thing that's not been printed was the outer border because that would have been way too much to to print and a lot of waste and things like that. So it's just the six main panels that are center blocks, I guess, that are um, panels. So and I will be teaching at Rhodes. I just saw that comment. I will be teaching. I um, and I'm excited um, to be teaching at Rhodes and my classes that I'm teaching, I have three classes that I'm doing. So I have them right here. Uh, it's just a really like a nice small project to get a taste of thread painting. So it's not too overwhelming. So just, this is one, it's a half day classes. So this is the one that I'm doing. And then another one is the sketch, draw and quilt. Uh, so you use different uh, fabric pencils and the blade in, blending and shading and then the free motion quilting with it. So that's the other one. And then to go with the book, I picked out three elements of the quilt that if you learn how to pretty much do these in the different combinations, um, you can learn the other flowers. There, I mean, there's multiple flowers on the quilt, but these are the three, you know, the blending and the shading. And so these are the three that with leaves and then the cosmos, which are done on some of the same techniques, but maybe different threads, thread colors. And then the lily, which is this, I'm seeing it backwards, this guy here. So that's my classes at Rhodes. So cool. I'll be, and they're signed, you know, sign up on the uh, website and I am thrilled to be teaching there. We're we're really happy, old. You know, that yeah. you're going to be there too. Yeah, I'm I'm thrilled. So whatever, sign ups are doing good. So that's um, pretty exciting. I'm proud of that. So, so thank you. George, thank you for coming on. In when we first started, I mean, I, you've been a big supporter of us personally and uh, professionally, and and we love you. And right back at both of you, ladies. I mean. It's what we've been doing, right? That's what we've been doing. And supporting all of us. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let me go down. And we got Cheryl Lynch is in the building. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. I just ran around getting all my, oh, my, my phone's going on now. I just ran around <laughs> getting all my samples for, um, for Road to California, Road at Home because I realize this is a good opportunity. But um, Linda, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for being so generous with your time and your knowledge to do Zoomcast because um, you were one of the first ones out there and one of the first ones to do a group like this. It was a wonderful thing and a great opportunity. And I think I was either in April or May and it was very exciting. You were one of the early ones, early, early. Thank you. You're the best girlfriend. So, 
in um, <laughs> in September, my first fabric line came out with Hoffman. And this was really exciting, especially since those of you that do fabric, I know a couple of you here do, um, you think it's there and then it just takes forever to get to the quilt shops. So right behind me, can you see it? It's called Mosaic Masterpiece. And there are 15 different colorways. I do not sell the fabric. I've made a bunch of patterns um, to use the fabric and it's based on my mini mosaics, but um, it's still coming to quilt shops and quilt shops can still order it. So if you like it and you wanna play with it, go to your local quilt shop and ask them to get some. Um, Patty Carey generously took my fabric and inserted it in one of her patterns. And it's currently on my Instagram feed. So Cheryl Lynch quilts, if you wanna see it, she, she does beautiful patterns. So um, I've been really busy with my fabric, which is a great thing. And now I found out I'm gonna uh, do another line for next fall. So with, with all the pinks and the yellows, cause I have a baby granddaughter now, pinks and yellows and oranges and all those girly colors. Um, so, and then I'm teaching on the cruise with Patty and I can't wait. I think September 22, we are gonna be so ready to get out there into the world. And I think it's gonna be a great cruise I heard there were over a hundred some odd uh, quilters last time. So we're going to be having some great classes. I think uh, you guys I'm, need to get me in a, in a luggage or something. I think you need me on that cruise. Uh, oh, for sure. Um, most of my classes are handwork because there, there are certainly certain machines, you know, there are machine works. So uh, one, of my, one of my classes, I can't remember which one, we're going to do in the evenings when the machines are available. So like two evenings will make one of my classes, which means then you'll be able to enjoy all the amenities on that beautiful boat. Um, then road, to, road at Home, I'm teaching a fabric dyeing class, which is a lot of fun. You don't buy anything from me. You buy the fabric and the dye from ProChem and it's a gradation class and you get to pick whatever gradation you wanna do. So in three hours at home in your kitchen, you get to do all the fabric dyeing. And then the other class I'm doing is a mini mosaic class and it's called Beach Love. And so you just take all the little mini mosaics and put it on the sticky stabilizer and you make this little beach quilt. So between the cruise and my beach love, you could tell I'm looking forward to the warm weather and being at the beach. <laughs> and that's beautiful um, coming to my house when you're done with it, right? You got it. You got it. Um, and I think that's about it for now. Uh, there's always more in the pipeline, but we'll see. But thank you all for coming and supporting Linda and supporting all of us who go on and on and on each each week. And it's a great respite Wednesday afternoons. We thank love you, you, Cheryl. We love you. I love you too. Thank you for being part of our, our initial getting off the ground. I was honored, Linda. I was honored to be one of your chosen. Oh, <laughs> the chosen few. <laughs> Can I butter her up anymore? What's next? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows what we'll do? We'll do something. So Girls patterns, the mini mosaics. You know, would make great great Christmas gifts for uh, you know another quilter if you if you know because they're small projects that you can finish quickly and so you're not burdening somebody with a king size quilt kit. <laughs> That's true, Debbie. Yeah. So and I even did one. Yeah. You did. You did the turtle, didn't you, or the flamingo? Which I one? Flamingo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Roxanne and I did each did one on a uh, long road trip. And this one is fun because there's no sewing. So e even people like Stevie's daughter who don't sew can make it. Anyway. I'm in. I'm in. Talk about Stevie. Where is she? Hi, Stevie. I'm going to unmute myself. Oh, my goodness. You're muted? Yeah, you've muted me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Where is, where is he? Oh, I don't know where he is. 
We had a we yeah. had a very special guest, a mystery guest. Yes. So, um, so what's going on at Road to California that I don't know? Uh, not much. Not much. Um, life is a little easier since the um, uh, show in 21 is canceled. We've just moved all those teachers over to 22. So that means I don't have to start from the, the very beginning. So um, yes, I was actually your virgin guest. I was on the first show, supposedly talking about quilt judging, but I think we talked more about the pompous ass wine I was drinking than we <laughs> talked about quilt judging. <laughs> But um, learn many things here. Yes, yes. So it, this is this has been a great opportunity, and I think I've only missed uh, one session. It's just been fun seeing everybody, and um, I know a lot of people in the industry. But it's nice to put a face to some of them and to meet some new people too. So that's that's been exciting. So I, I, I'm sorry. I, I was going to ask you: Are you doing any virtual judging? I have done three virtual judgings uh, so far uh, for Gamel and twice for Mancuso. So, uh, and we we will be doing it that way for Road at Home also. Although I'm the judging coordinator, not the not the judge this time. So we can only do so much, you know. Um, one of the one of the times I was on, I I won a door prize, and it was a pattern that Deb Stanley did for a purse, and so I actually made the purse. This was the pattern, and I printed off, and this was the purse. Ooh, it's got nice pockets. Great purse. It's great. Great it's like coat. Fabric too. Yes. Yeah. So uh, combination of the teak and uh, nautical uh, underwater fish thing. So, so that's been, that's been fun. Um, yes, I'm really looking forward to being with Patty and um, and Cheryl on that uh, Hawaiian cruise. That's going to be good fun. And um, I can't believe I actually want to be on a cruise ship again for that long, but that's okay. With Patty and Patty and Cheryl, we'll have a good time. So I'm looking forward. Maybe I'm really thinking about I should go be your roommate, <laughs> <laughs> so that you guys have supervision. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So no, and I also I also do teach on cruises occasionally. Supposedly next summer I'm teaching on a cruise to um, Iceland and Scotland oh. and England uh, again with. Um, who do I work for, Cheryl? World Quilts? World? World Deb, Deb Roberts. Yeah, it's Deb Roberts. That's the only way I can ever find it. I can never remember what the company name is. World Textile Tours or something like that. So that, that should be exciting. Yes. So. Bill is what asking what uh, you're teaching on the cruise. I am going to be teaching Kumahimo, which is a braiding technique. I'm going to be teaching a Lucy Boston English paper piecing class and a piecing class uh, doing Drunkard's Path, which we call the uh, shipboard walk, because you look like you're drunk when you're walking in those seas. <laughs> so, so on that on the on a European cruise like that, there are no sewing machines, so all the the classes are hand classes. It's always fun, especially that itinerary can be really good. Are you teaching the same thing on the Hawaiian cruise? I'm not teaching on the Hawaiian cruise. Oh, I am, I'm going to be in charge of people. Oh, you're just yes. Wrangling. <laughs> That's right. I'm the one, I'm gonna bring my whip. <laughs> they might like that. Yeah, oh, that's right, they might. <laughs> You get that same boy that was on it the last time when we, when we did it. You, you might like it. Oh, that's right. That's right. The one in the guy in the bar. Yeah. 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 For some reason, Stevie attracts all these young boys to the bar. Oh, right. Right. I do my best, but. <laughs> <laughs> <do> my best. <laughs> 
you were there more than I was, though, that's for sure. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Yes. I think that's it with our past guest. It's a hard week to get a guest, I'll tell you. So let's see, Deb, who do we have who would like to show some of their projects or say something? Um, Want to show your project? Put it in the chat. Beth, Beth was the first one who said she'd like to. Yeah. That's why, oh, you got it. Okay. Well, Hi, Beth. Hello, how are you? I'm Good, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm going to try and figure out how to turn my camera around backwards. I think, yeah, I just did it. I'd like to show you um, my Brimfield Meadows quilt. Um, I just got it pieced, but it's all English paper piecing. And this was, I think her name was Kim from Brimfield Awakening yes. that yes. came and demonstrated yes. this. And I had always wanted to do English paper piecing, but was afraid to. Um, so she, I just decided, well, I'm gonna, I'll bite the bullet, I'll try it and maybe waste some money, but I'm gonna have some fun doing it. And what was so nice with working with Kim, I placed an order and in my lack of knowledge, um, about the paper piecing, um, I placed, uh, I made a few errors in my order and she picked up on it and emailed me and then walked me through ordering it correctly so that I'd be able to get what I needed that would help me um, complete a project. So she was extremely helpful. So I would highly recommend if you are going to venture on that journey, to contact them at Brimfield Awakenings and see if they might have something that you'd be interested in doing. The piece I did was all done with scraps, um, some five, uh, five inch charm packs, and also just scraps from old projects that I had finished and had leftover pieces. So it was really, Fun. It's a fun scrap busting project. How big are those blocks? Pardon me? How big are those blocks? Oh. They're like 16 inches? Yeah, I'm going to guess each one is 16. I'm just doing six blocks to make a wall hanging uh, for above the bed in our bedroom. Um, but it's it'll make a nice wall hanging if I ever get to quilting it. That's what I always get stopped at. I don't like to quilt. So anyhow, thank you, yes, thank you. Thank you, Linda and thank Deb. You. I would never have bitten that off if it hadn't been for your encouragement. Good, thank you. Our, our mystery guest is ready. Okay, are you ready? Attention quilters, attention <laughs> quilters. <laughs> The voice out of the past here. <laughs> if, if you have ever been to Road to California and you hear this mystery voice throughout the week, you'll hear attention quilters. Here is the voice, yes. live and in color. Hi, Randy. <laughs> Hi, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Good. Good. Ready for the big eat tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah, like I cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've already cooked the ham. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave now. I should be there in about nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be ready. Get the wine right. <laughs> he's, he's also going to be doing his attention quilters for Road at Home. Okay. There you oh, go. Cool. Yeah, he's he's the secret voice when you're when you're walking around the hall and, and you hear this voice all the time, attention quilters, and now you know who it is. Well, the interesting thing, the reason that he does all the the announcing, is because in the office we would we would look at each other, Matt and I'd look at each other and say, "Ooh, that lecture started 20 minutes ago. Somebody should have announced it." So we hired Randy who 
um, is an engineer. He's a rocket scientist who worked for NASA. And he, every morning he has this list of all these announcements he's gonna make. The rest of us, you know, have no concept of time or, or order anything else. So that's why he's there being the voice of road. <laughs> when we live in Virginia, so it's nice to get to go to California in, in the cold weather in January. Oh. All right, we got... Siobhan would like to speak. Got her, Deb? Yeah. Hey on, Siobhan. Wait, there you are. There is our mystery fingers that gives everybody, doesn't make a difference what you're drinking, coffee, air, wine, whatever. You get a double thumbs up. She has become a, a celebrity in her own right. <laughs> Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Linda. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, good, because I, I didn't unmute myself. Listen, I just wanted to, to say thank you so much to yourself and to Deb and to all the different guests that you had on. Um, I, I feel in this time of quarantine that we don't get to socialize like you know we used to. And I always look forward to the Wednesday So What Zoomcast just because I feel like we're all friends now. We, we don't have to be, you know, right next to each other, but we are all friends. And there was, um, I'll show you in a minute, the things that I have been doing because of what I've learned. But I also appreciate that every, every single guest that you had on never made, never made it seem hard. They always said, anyone can do it, just give it a try. And there's so many things that maybe I know I would be afraid to try, but but your guests made it sound that I could do it. So I tried a few things that I had not tried before. And one of them was like Beth had mentioned, the um, Brimfield, the Brimfield block. This is a star. Eventually when I sew four of these together, I think I have enough to make like six blocks already, but. I would have never tried that except for hearing how Kim said it was so easy <laughs> and it really wasn't hard. Um, something else I did was I think, I think I've think i spent a lot of time reading and I read all of Patience Griffin's quilting series up until her new ones, not the Alaska ones yet because I know that's brand new. But these are things I, I really would not have tried before. <laughs> Because that wasn't my genre for reading. Like you, Linda, like you like your crime mysteries, and I liked historical fiction, you know, stuff like that. I loved finding out how the batik fabrics were made, and I'm never going to complain how expensive batik is now because that that process is beyond time consuming and labor intensive. Um, it, there's just so many things that were so interesting and. And I really felt like I made a lot of friends, even though I'm not sitting beside all of you. And I'll give all of you a thumbs up. I don't care what you're drinking, because it's so nice to see smiling women and men and <laughs> people, people who are who have a similar interest and they're willing to share, you know, what they've learned, what they know, their expertise. So thank you. And here's to here's to all of you. It's ice water. Get, get ice water. A happy Thanksgiving and thank you, Linda and Deb. Thank you. You're still getting. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Stevie says Siobhan is the thumb of some so what. <laughs> and and for those of you who don't know, Siobhan used to live by us, and we used to our our daughters. My Deb and Siobhan's daughter are all like right around the same age. Right. So go to the houses and the, the kids would play and, and we would sit there and, and we gossip about stuff. Okay. So. Hey, hey, Linda, do you remember you taught a kid's quilting class way back before you were famous? Did I really? Yeah. There were like four or five little, I think there were, no, there were girls. There was one little boy and you taught the, you taught a wall hanging 
um, with a heart in the middle. I don't have it. My daughter has it. I, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. That's what yeah. I had patience. <laughs> you did. I would have never done that. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> and Siobhan was in one of my very first classes that I taught. Uh -huh. And Linda, I, I always remember the thing you taught us was there's no quilt police. No quilt no. police. It's not wrong. You just try again. Yeah. And I, I sleep with the quilt police. <laughs> That's his email address. It's quilt police. So, you know, I could, I could say that. Okay. So, yeah. So, Thank you. God, I love you. I love you too. There yeah. we have um, <laughs> Ruth Rembus has a uh, something she'd like to show. Let me find her. Got her. There she is. I see her. Got her. Got her. There she is. Hi, Ruth. I'm trying to unmute. Unmute, unmute yourself. How about now? How go. about now is great. Hi, hi everybody. Thanks uh, Linda and Deb for doing this. It's a fun day for me to come and see all of you. Um, my little show is from Deb's sew along that I sat in for Cathedral Window. Oh, okay. And I gave it a try um, with machine work mm -hmm. and made a little ornament out of it. And then I added uh, a little bit of beading as well to the button. So it's a stuffed little cathedral window. Very cute. Very cute. So thanks, Deb, for the instructions and the inspiration. Well, Ruth, Ruth uh, made the cathedral windows, but Linda was the reason I taught the cathedral windows. And I think I talked her out of trying it. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy, Linda. Try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, we have um, Denise. Can we get Denise? There she is. Hi, Denise. Hi, hi ladies. So I know Linda, you said about what do we want to be thankful for this, this time of year. And uh, um, our family has been, um, We've had a lot of loss this this past year. Um, my mother-in-law passed away. My, my father-in-law just passed away. About seven other family members and friends. So I would have never thought to look at these books. Um, although this has been a, a great escape. Once I heard patients in kilts and quilts. Uh, Scotland's always been a place that I'd like to go to. So through her books, it's been a great escape to um, just enjoy something, enjoy, enjoy these books. So I'm on number five. In addition to that, what I've done is I started, I have most of my tree cut out from one of the one of her books, the Gandhi Gow tr Christmas Tree. So, and her fab fabrics are fabulous. I'm really excited about completing it. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. So, I'm very thankful that you had patience on, and I was able to meet an, an author, and just really exciting, excited about fin finishing that. And then this. I'm kind of looking forward to doing this in various different color ways. I do too. I just can't wait to do it. And then in addition, Saturday, Emily Taylor, Amelia, uh, yeah, Emily Taylor, I would never do it. I'm a retired mechanical engineer and do Doing something like this would put me over the edge. So I can't wait to start her process, learning something new, just and and different. And so I'm very thankful that I'm signed up for her workshop on Saturday and I'm gonna do that. And then 
Linda and Deb for your books. They're fabulous. Um, and I have to say, um, Linda, I'm very thankful for you starting the Zumba Zoom in March. Um, you're just such a wonderfully talented woman and to give so much of your time and talents to all of us late, um, twice a week and then with this latest Zoom meeting, meeting all these wonderful um, artists, Patty and Joyce and Cheryl and just all of them, I would have may never have met them. And it feels like it's all one big, family so are you making me cry no <laughs> <laughs> it's been a tough year and you've made it tolerable and I just want to I'm very grateful and thankful for everything you've done for all of us this year I think that's pretty much was our goal is just to make things tolerable because we were all sort of locked down and missing the company of other quilters and other people. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to, to make some virtual friends uh, if you can't make friends in person. So hopefully when yeah, things yeah. open up, I said, hopefully when th things open up, we'll be able to meet in person at some of the quilt shows or mm -hmm. the cruises. Mm -hmm. I just want to hug you all. Yeah. So um, I did not. I missed me. I was a guest. So in my guest capacity, um, I'm also doing a quilt cruise in April of 2022 um, out of Fort Lauderdale and um, it's with a uh, different company and I'm working on the uh, last project. It's one project, one instructor. It's a um, six night Western Caribbean. Uh, Deb and I are finishing up the manuscript on our new book. And we're hoping that's released in uh, October of 2021. And of course, you know that I am the virtual faculty. Yeah. I only had one glass of wine. Virtual faculty coordinator for Road to California. And I will be doing um, things about 11 or 12 uh, interviews with our faculty for Road TV. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next week. And um, I also spoke to Banyan Batiks, and we will be doing um, another fabric collection uh, to go with the Island Vibes collection. Which is, if you saw my first collection, it was a lot of pastels, and it had the, uh, the beach kind of flair to it uh, with aqua and coral, sand. So we're, we're going to do a, um, a second Island Vibes collection. So... But I'm, I'm busy. I'm very busy. And then at Road to California, I will be teaching feeling crabby. And that's your chance to get crabs. I know you really want them. Really want them. And you will get in your kit a special button that I think Debbie was a little horrified that um, I actually did it. I have a button that you can proudly proclaim that you got crabs from me, and then you can explain it when they question you. Um, also doing an intro to uh, EQ8, if you would like to learn that program, you can join me for that, because I am an EQ artist. And uh, Teach It. Teach It is a professional development uh, presentation. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was the president of uh, the Quilt Professionals Network for several years. And I've also um, presented at Threads of Success. So the Teach It presentation, which I'm doing at Road to California is about mm, an hour and a half. And you're gonna get some knowledge 
that it took me 15 years to, to get. And there's a lot of like really cool hints in there that um, if you're thinking about it, especially in this virtual world, I mean, there's shop teachers, there's teachers on cruises, there's retreat teachers, there's all kinds of, of teachers. And this is what you need to know. Um, the fourth class that I'm teaching is Madison Avenue Modern. It is the New York Beauty Block done in a modern pattern. Uh, it was actually designed by Deb. And you can make these uh, New York Beauty Block using just one pin, no puckers, no cussing. And once you learn the technique, you can do six blocks an hour. I have witnesses. Some of them are here. Six blocks, six New York beauty blocks an hour. Yes, you can. How's that? Um, does anybody else? Beth loves her crab button. So she's going to proudly wear it. And um, hopefully we'll see you at a show. And we'll get some um, special recognition just having the guts to wear that. <laughs> I think um, we've all I think we've all learned a lot from the guests. Even Linda and I have learned learned some uh, things that we didn't know. Just talk just listening to people talk about how they do modern quilts or how they do uh, embroidery or how they do um, paper piecing. It's just you pick up so many little details that you would not have known uh, if you weren't here. You missed it. And don't forget, we had Carol Shaw's um, dancing guest that that we yeah, had to good. deal with. That wasn't recorded, thankfully. Um, so what we're going to do is what we're we're thinking about is um, coming back in January after all the holidays are over, and I find new friends. Um, that we can we can get back uh, doing something, some kind of coffee clutch or whatever. We'll we'll do something um, after the first of the year um, for the um, Zumba class. I have that question. Zumba is uh, nine thirty on Mondays Eastern time on Mondays and Wednesdays. On Mondays, I do Zumba, which they tell me I'm very easy to follow. And um, it, it's Zumba like Zumba Gold, but we're more advanced. You know, I'm not a young skinny girl. I am fit and fluffy. So uh, I do all my own choreography so that you know everybody can do it and it's successful. It is on Zoom. It's in the same um, it's in, this is my room. This is my keys to my kingdom. This is where my classes are. My, my um, everybody's welcome. On Wednesdays, we do Zumba toning, which is a little different. The songs are a little structured, uh, and we target four, um, four pieces. And we, we did not, I think this was the first time I canceled class since March. Um, cause I have, you can see I got stitches in black and blue. Um, I got this like gigantic boo boo. Um, I'm getting the stitches out on on uh, Tuesday, but this was first time I canceled class. So Monday and Wednesdays, I also, uh, if we have a new song, I walk you through it, and I'll go slow, and tell you where your arm should be, where your body position should be, so that you're getting the the most out of it. One pound weight or uh, water bottles, certainly not empty glasses. Um, so everybody, like I said, everybody's welcome Monday and uh, Wednesday. We do have a um, So What YouTube channel and you can see all our past guests and uh, it's So What Zoomcast on YouTube. And uh, our, if you want to join our So What Facebook group, 
this way you'll get notifications of um, when we're going to come back on what our theme or whatever we're going to do. And we also post all the information about our past guests. So if you want to find Stevie to judge your show or or Patty to come and, and de ice somewhere, <laughs> you can find them and we can help you find them. Uh, yeah, you you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, but otherwise you just you can go look at all the past videos. I mean, there's tons of videos. Um, Kate would like to oh, look at all my Zumba sucker. Okay. All the all the Zumba girls say that they're having a good time, and then they come on to so what, and they whine about their shoulders hurt. Yeah, I got your number. Mm -hmm. uh, Kate would like to say something. Deb, can you find Kate? There's Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi. How are you? Good. Well, sometimes it's getting these old bones moving and it's helping, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fix your hair. Fix your hair. You're a little windblown. <laughs> uh, no, it was digging in the scraps under my cutting bench. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a scrappy challenge that I have to have ready for our girls that we run from the shop. But this has been so good for me because out here in Wyoming, where we're at, we were always isolated and now it's been worse. But it has given me ideas to take to my quilters and to get myself kind of refreshed. And I have really enjoyed the ones that I have been able to catch. Sometimes I have to work. But hey, between that and Zumba, I think this has really been a good year for me. And good. thank you, Linda. Thank your guests. And just whatever we can do to help you keep this going would be wonderful for me. Cool. And I'll, I'm planning on being out there in July. I. That is the other thing. I have vended at uh, the Wyoming uh, state deal four times. I have never before ever gone as a participant and because you're there I'm already waiting to sign up and I'm going as a guest I've got already got my vacation planned cool so cool. we'll and see you there I've been out there a couple of days to, and I said I go clean somebody's barn <laughs> I, well yeah. uh, I don't I need take... to ride a horse or anything I just want to clean your barn oh hell no you want to go through the saddle shop <laughs> get the just get the, the smell it just really, if you yeah. have had horses and you know, it just, there's a yeah. certain, there's just something. There's a special thing about them. There's a special thing. Hey, I love you. Love you, gal. I love, love you. You we'll, guys have been great for me. And we'll see you at Zumba on uh, Monday. And I, I see somebody who's been real quiet. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Madge. Hi, Madge. You're muted. Can I unmute you? Hey, Linda. I unmuted me. See, I, I saw you. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, you, you watched all our YouTubes? I watched them mostly. I watched a couple live, but I watched them mostly on the YouTube because then I can watch it whenever I want. I can pause. I can go whatever. I can come back and watch the rest. And, and I think they're, they're just great. And I think you've done a very generous thing for your, your friends and the other um, people in the quilt world who were really needing some opportunity to get their information out. And I know that, um, and I enjoyed seeing people that I knew. I love seeing Cheryl and Joyce and, oh God, and Heather last week. <laughs> um, you know, so everybody, and also seeing some people that are new um, in the industry. So it was, it was kind of like a, a reunion of, uh, a, you know, of friends. And it's going to be, I, I'm, um, I'm happy that everybody has such a, a positive attitude about things that might be happening live coming up. Um, I don't know how many will be, but uh, 
you know, you, you make plans and then you hope for the best. What is it? Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Um, and I think that you have helped people um, hope for the best and prepare for the worst by encouraging the, um, you know, the virtual uh, video, whatever. And I, it, it has been longer than 15 years since you've been teaching, right? Yeah. Because we've known each other longer than that. And you were teaching when I first met you, I think. So, so, so for you guys who don't know, Madge is a very, very special person in my life. Um, because she has, she, she saw me when I first started teaching. She watched me evolve and, and grow. And sometimes she was my sounding board um, for, for different things. And she was always a calming influence and a very professional influence on my life. Well, I knew, I knew that you knew that if you ever told me anything and said, don't tell anybody, I am, I'm really good at that. If somebody says whatever, whatever, don't, don't say anything or don't pass that on or whatever. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good on that in, in all walks of life. So um, I also know that <laughs> there was times that, that people shook their head and said, really? Linda Hahn? Seriously? And then, but I'll tell you who knew from the very beginning, and it wasn't necessarily me, it was Pat Mars. Yes. Who yes. knew from the very beginning, this is the person that we need to wrangle into shape because she's really gonna be good. And, and she was right. So. Um, and that was one of the compliments ever in, in my life in when, when she stopped me and, and she put her hand um, on my elbow and she told me, you've done good. That was right before she passed away. And that was the biggest compliment I have ever received. Yes, she, yes. And what she knew from the, she was, she was a supporter of yours from pretty much the very beginning. Um, and, and that was one thing about Pat. She, she had the biggest personal space of anyone I ever knew. You, she was not a hugger. She was, she was, a, you know, stand away. She didn't like to be like close, but um, I knew the last time I saw her, she asked me for a hug and I knew that was going to be the last time I saw her and she passed away. Uh, not, you know, not long after that. So um, I, I know exactly what you're saying about Pat. Um, Pat, Pat Mars, she was um, one of the founding uh, teachers, instructors, judges. She wrote the manual for the NQA judging program, the teaching program, and she was integral in, in just development of quilt teachers everywhere. She was a, she was a fabulous, she used to do like book reviews, and, and I don't know, many people know this, but she wrote for a lot of quilt magazines and needlework magazines and miniature magazines, but she wrote under pen names. So I can, I can, I know her writing style. So if I see this, I mean, we're talking 30, 40 years ago or more. Uh, if I say, oh, that's Pat. And then I look at the name, I said, oh yeah, that's Jane Pell, which was her, um, her middle name and her maiden name. So it, she, she had a, a whole bunch of, of these odd, uh, and I'm wondering how, I was going to ask when you had the magazine person on, how many people do you have that write under a number of different names? <laughs> but, um, but she was, she, she took no prisoners. She, she was, she was tough stuff. Um, and she wasn't one of the founders of NQA, but she was a very, very early member. And she and Kay and Jeanette used to travel to the NQA meetings and they called them the New Jersey mafia. And, and because they, they spoke up for <laughs> what they believed in, they were tough stuff. So anyway, she's, she's, uh, it, it, she would be, um, She's kind of like the angel on your shoulder. She knew that one thing about Linda, she will push the professionalism right up to the very limit and then realize that, okay, I've got to, now I've got to be, you know, now I've got to be switch from being Linda to being the professional club teacher. And you, you are really good at knowing where to stop. And, um, <laughs> and say, I was just going to tell you, I write my under a pen name. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. 
there you go. That well, that you know what, and don't say things like that because there's people here that will believe that. So for you guys, I do write my porn under a pen name. It's okay. like Jezebel, so you know it's me. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Linda, for supporting all your um, all your quilting friends. You know it's it's uh when you're when you've risen to the top and you help other people it's um it's a good thing and i want to say i've been around this industry for a long time and i'm not a top and i never wanted to be but um there's not a lot of people that do that on a regular basis and you and you've done that so and you know that too because linda's really <laughs> <laughs> Linda knows where the bodies are buried in the quote industry world, right? Yeah, but she's not going to share it. Give her water, Matt. There you go. Coffee and coffee and flavored water today. Matt, you rock. I love you. Love you too. Have, have a great Thanksgiving and um and don't go in a restaurant with no mask. No, no. So does anybody else want to say anything? Put it in the chat. Hurry up before we do door prizes. Yeah, we're doing door prizes today. Ooh. Anybody else? We're watching the chat. Don't all don't all jump at it. Overwhelm the chat. Okay, don't forget, we're giving you a couple minutes. Before we do the door prizes, turn the cameras on. We want to see you get excited. Okay, if you don't have the cameras on and we point to you. Okay, Deb and I have a, a, a really special um, door prize today. Okay, everybody, everybody. We'll get a um, downloadable pattern from uh, Deb and I. So um, you can either email me. I will put my email in the chat. You can email me. We know who's here, so don't share it with your friends. Um, you can email me or you can put your uh, email in the chat and everybody will get a um, free pattern uh, from us. Don't forget to sign up for the Facebook page so you can find out what we're doing. And we are ready for Banyan and Quilt Woman. Where's Joyce is our Banyan girl. Yeah, Joyce, were you, you were just running away. Unmute yourself. No. Nope. Hi. Hi there. Okay. Want to do Banyan for two? Sure. Deb, you ready? So we have one screen. Good. Okay. Connie. <laughs> Connie, where are you? Connie. Yay! There we go. That's what we want to see. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. There she is. That's what we want to see. Connie's excited. Yay! Another Thank you. Banyan to Peaks, Connie. Oh, wonderful. This is exciting. Thank you. Okay, Joyce, we're finishing up. Another one. Colleen. Colleen. <laughs> Another excited. Where is she? Hello. Wait, thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Where is she? Down it's there. I'm right here waving at you. Yeah, I'm looking for you. Damn, Deb? What's going on? Where? Colleen. Where did I go? Well, I see me. I see everybody. Colleen, there we go. Yes. Thank there. you. Okay. I'm a new I'm a new watcher and just love it. And I can't wait till you guys come back in January. Oh, thank you. I'll have new friends by then. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, please make sure you put your email in the chat so that we can let Banyan Batiks know uh, where to send the bundles. And where's, where's Stevie to do Quilt Woman? Right here. There you are. Oh, shoot, now, uh, Jill Patterson. Jill Patterson. There we go, there we go. Thank you. And but you know what, I have gotten a pattern from, from I have gotten a pattern from Quilt Woman, so I think someone else should get a turn. Sure? Yes, positive. I, I think someone else should should get that, but thank you. Hey, Stevie. All Come right. On. Teresa, there she is. I'm looking. Well, Teresa and the dog got excited too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Can, can you stop getting licked for a minute? <laughs> I started being so excited, my puppy got excited too. <laughs> she likes Please, to um, put your email in the chat and okay. um, we will send you instructions. You, you'll go on Quote Woman's website and choose a downloadable pattern. Awesome. Let you know, you'll know, so we'll, we'll let you know with that. Wonderful. Thank you. Yay. Coming. And the puppy. <laughs> okay, so um, we will keep you guys posted on um, our January startup date, and we'd like to wish everybody a very, very happy Thanksgiving. No, it's COVID. Happy Thanksgiving and a very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, whatever you do. I know there's all kinds of different things. Um, we, we truly appreciate you and we look forward to uh, being with you every week. And um, so we know, we know we got some friends here at least. And find us on, you know, you can find us on Facebook and um, surprised of everything that we're doing. Uh, come see us at Road to California and uh, Enjoy yourselves, be safe, wear a mask, wash your hands. So everybody's everybody's saying all nice things in the chat. Deb, you got anything to say? You're muted. You're muted, Deb. Unmuted. Okay. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you in January.